Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on uh, Supreme Jerk difficulty, the highest one. Episode 43 with two deaths so far and we're in the Godfisher's wind farm. So let's just get right to it because there isn't much of an intro that you wouldn't know by now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mess up uh, the rest. We're going to kill whatever needs killing here. And we're going to make sure that the Godfishers are never going to hurt anyone. Well, that was a, an uneventful part. I thought the cave would continue here. I think we've killed the Godfishers, but there is still a secondary part. So let's get up here. Likely mutants, because I've seen one walking around here. Would be cool if you would get uh, some sort of title or a little bonus for actually killing the center or the headquarter of these jerks. Good, combat has started. Um, let's get right to it. Lots of enemies are there. All of these guys are melee combatants. Ramos charges in. And unfortunately we're only hitting three. But all of them now do have minus two hit, which is good. Lucia moves up. We're making sure that these two are not even taking a turn. So that's mainly me trying to crowd control and make their life absolutely miserable. Okpai charges in. takes this guy out, so no threat uh, from uh, that poor soul. And we do have extra damage against people that are burning. Uh, apparently not a lot this time. How much hit points? How many? Uh, 10,000. Okay. Yeah, well... Good, we'll figure that out in a second. One starts over here. One hit. Couple of crits. Good, that's one down. Uh, Seventy-five ch uh, percent chance to just deal extra damage. How many hit points are we looking at? Yeah, that would be a kill. 
So let's head, just headshot and kill this guy. Okay, well. Apparently not the 75% chance that happened. Look at that, crit resist. But we still go down. We need to deal with the backline here. We're being ambushed. No, I don't like that. It's funny to see that although I'm having Murphy that far back, they still just run up to him. Could have shot this guy in the leg, but then the other one would have just likely just uh, made his way to us. Alright, Quan heals himself. The good part is we do have extra damage. We do have extra damage. Quan charges, which gives him the storm up her. And there's the extra damage that we were looking for. I will say that now is the perfect time to rally everyone which gives you another hit and that's a kill great hit on the hat triple hit Couple more hits and almost done. Murphy does have a pistol, but whips, whiffs it. Unfortunate. There we go. Uh, these guys always explode, so there is not much I can do about it. A uh, good amount of damage, actually. Good amount of damage, all things considered. Ramos kills that one guy. And the bile bomber, I don't want to deal with that at all. Hop bite hits and Almost completely kills the guy. Almost. Um, what we could do is... Ah, too bad. Too bad. Close, but no cigar. Uh, cigar. The bile bomber. We need to get out of uh, his way. Uh. 
Okay, fair enough. It's great that the clone now kill steals uh, the dru uh, drool. Might not even make it there. Well, he got him at the end of the day. Lucia moves up. gets him down Quan has Stormer perk Ramos uh, gets puts himself into safety That Bile Bomber is an absolute menace to society and we fail to hit it the first time, but we're good on the second one. Oh, zero damage. Okay, I see what's happening. Not cool. Let's see who uh, got infected right here. And we're just going to use uh, that stuff on ourselves. Cool. Was that fight worth it monetary uh, wise? Potentially not. But I'm hoping we get a little bit deeper into that area and find something nice. Uh, energy cells are becoming less and less prominent. So we're changing to normal, uh, good old standard ammunition. Bomb runs over, hits. And then shreds armor. Moving up. It's over. Uh, mark this waste worm. Try to hit him. Deals bonus damage to head. And this could let him attack his friends. Yep. 
Yep, that's a better choice. And we're switching back to pistol. Very good. Murphy is absolutely insane when it comes to damage dealing. Good. Murphy unfortunately is also absolutely insane when it comes to getting being put on the floor. down to 22 can't let that happen go and get a nice little over here Pawn heals up Quan heals himself Putting a decoy out. And we're going a little bit further back. Fair enough. Ramos. Murphy. Moves to here. Shoots the queen. I like that. Uh, Ramos moves a bit closer, hits those three with a suppression. And then begins to completely unload onto the queen. Hawkeye takes away all of her action points before healing himself. Lucia makes sure that we're not taking any damage. Stun onto the other two. Then moving over here. Yep, central hits and he hits uh, very well. And Hawkeye just continues to slash, I suppose. That's the best he can do at this point. Marshall Quan continues to heal the clone. Ah. 
Ways Queen takes some damage. Um, move to here. That's a triple hit. Into a nice little triple hit. Nice little triple hit, and we're doing good. Okay, closer than I expected. And a couple of people went down, which is also not what I would have expected. These little worms were actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Surprising amount of damage. So that's a net another fight that potentially was net negative. Although there is a lot of junk here. Nah, it was positive. Got the survey report back. It's actually worse than I expected. Subsidence rates are close to one and a half percent over a six month period. I warned the planning committee that the reservoir was going to be a problem. The soil up here is too sandy and erodes too easily. We should have set the pilings for the windmills about 30 feet deeper, but no one wanted to spend that kind of money. So now we have to keep a crew on payroll to keep shoring up the site. If we don't, then in a few years, they're all going to be lying around like pickup sticks. The Retirer. Oh yeah. The Retirer. That's a good one. So, um, yeah, that's that's fan fabulous. The only problem that I do have with that weapon is it uses the goddamn wrong ammunition. Energy cells. He's using energy cells. And the problem is Polar Vortex as an assault rifle uses energy cells as well. That's a bit of an issue. Let me think about it. What I will say is we are still short of a really good um, SMG. We got almost all of the other stuff, but not a great SMG. I need to go back and buy ammunition because I don't want to be finding myself in a situation where we don't have enough ammunition. And I need to think about how we're going to uh, deal with the fact that we have so much energy cells. We're a little bit too energy cell heavy. I wonder in terms of mods, This here converts something into explosive damage. So if I had a really, really, really good gun, that would uh, that would likely be fine. The Socom assault rifle just not good enough, I think. Would love to get a higher level SMG, and then uh, Central does have explosives, so for him. That would be the right mod. 
What else do we have as mods that change energy type? Converts two energy damage, which is not exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, the problem, energy damage is fantastic in terms of armor penetration and so on and so forth. Problem that I'm seeing with it is if too many people are using it, we do have a bit of a, an issue. Hogbite can use it without uh, causing an issue and Lucia and our sniper can both use it as well. Low amount of shots, but for the auto guns, I really want something else. Something that is not energy cells, right? Okay, let me figure out how to go about it guys and um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Good, we're back to give you a short rundown. We changed up a little bit. I spent some money, uh, got ourselves the OptiLaser 9000 uh, for Hogbite so that he does have a ranged attack. Uh, he also now does have Demoralize up and I didn't mention that at the beginning. Uh, we upgraded a lot of the armor uh, just so that we do have quicker movement speed. Uh, I gave the cyber perk to Ramos and since we couldn't get that uh, crit immunity, I'll just give him combat speed because him repositioning quicker isn't bad. Uh, overall, just as you can see, really modified uh, all of the armor a little bit more so that we do have really good resistances. Every single one, uh, almost every single one. Uh, Lucia is the only one yet. As a matter of fact, uh, we could actually do that uh, for her. So every single one elsewise has fully upgraded uh, armor. Uh, and we're almost done with Lucia as well. So point being, the armor uh, is, uh, is important and looks good. Uh, and here we're I'm gonna go with uh, that upgrade as well. Uh, just overall resistances are absolutely fine. I'm willing to downgrade a bit on the armor uh, piece because uh, these uh, extra resistances, specifically fire and also energy, uh, is straight up bypassing armor. So as you can see, we do have uh, that on every single armor uh, now, um, with the exception of Murphy. For Murphy, I got something really nice, 100 extra hit points. I don't think that anything else will help him at this point. Uh, he does, if I reduce his armor further, it's not going to be great. He does need a lot of combat speed, so that's uh, generally fine. And yeah, just overall having armor uh, will help him. More evasion will help him as well. Okay, so that's point number one. Point number two. Uh, all of the helmets got a uh, nice little uh, ranged and uh, melee damage upgrade, which means we're rocking straight up 25% extra uh, ranged and melee. I also purchased power armor so uh, that uh, we, are, we really do have good armor now. The only other thing that I did with the money is I bought the best normal uh, submachine gun that I could get, level 21. Uh, which is the Ripper, not great, but still okay, and uh, put it to explosive damage. And this should actually start dealing quite a bit of uh, damage, plus it uses the right ammunition. So no ammo for Hogbite. Lucia uh, is using energy cells, but I bought a lot of uh, those as well. And her revolver really looks uh, scary. Her shotgun actually uses shotgun shells, so that would be fine. So one uh, character for energy cells. Um, here we are using 45 ammo that uh, doesn't collide at all. For Quan, um, I am starting to use uh, 556 ammunition. Um, it's not going to be the greatest rifle and from time to time the Polar Vortex. Uh, mainly to not uh, use too many energy uh, cells. We got 50 cal ammo uh, on the Nidhogg uh, with Ramos. And then um, the second energy cell user is Murphy, but Murphy and Lucia, 
that was my logic are using single shots so the energy cells should last for a while long-winded way of saying we spend quite a bit of downtime to get ready for whatever is gonna come here demolition derby area and scar collector mine i think we're going to go for the scar collector soon but for now duel with cars in there real dueling is with pistols i actually like uh, demolition derby it's fun uh, if no one gets hurt that is Wow, that is one hell of a loot here. Lots and lots and lots of junk that we're getting. Plus a, an arena helmet with evasion on it. Okay, not my type of helmet, but not bad either. Those are the Dorseys. Before we're going for them. Let's take a look at the Scar Collector Mine. And why are there giant bisons running around here? Okay, let's test the new uh, weapon, shall we? Okay. Um, yeah, I think Central is finally doing, uh, dishing out some nice damage. Okay, we would need level 10. Fair enough. Everybody get, just get rallied and hit for 500, not bad. what I'm seeing good let's see what Quan can do with his normal rifle yeah, that's okay Shot. <laughs> Shoots for eight hundred. I like that. It's over for you. Well, I would say our new SMG works out very well. I think the advantage of the SMGs now by, by thinking about it is they take very low AP and deal considerable amounts of damage, specifically now that we're finally having explosive damage on top of it. So that's not bad. Can't repair the toaster yet, but let's travel over to the next area. Okay, so that does not look like a reputable establishment. Let's see what we're having here. Scar collectors. Exoskeleton armor. Oh, nice. Smash the ground, stunning any target nearby. Another melee damage bonus. Oh, that is so good. Yep. 
big fat rocket launcher, the javelin. All right, wait for a second. I mean, we're going to continue wearing that for now, for now. But that is great. And that earthquake ability is good as well. That is good as well. There is a Scar Collector Overlord. Not sure what exactly that Overlord means. He's maybe the boss of the Scar Collectors. Okay, central, uh, you know what, Quan starts with uh, the explosive barrel over here. No! And we're in the middle of a big fat firefight. Rally everyone. So I got that new eye and of course I want to test it. bad at all a bit excessive but not bad at all all right let's start with Ramos These guys here need to go down. Don't want to hit the slaves. Cannot not hit that slave, that is unfortunate. Central moves up, gets a free hit, gets a kill, which is great. Oh my lord, he completely deletes these guys. I have uh, just changed my opinion about uh, SMGs. SMG is good. SMG is very good. It's okay. I'll be gentle. I uh, didn't want to even do that, uh, but okay. Ramos. begins to move to here fair enough let's mark this guy and I think we're just going to snipe him with Murphy almost down Heavy attack. Um, yeah, I'm 
No, well, that's not happening. Um, we can demoralize someone or, which is more likely, start to move up so that next turn we're getting there. One gets one of these guys down. Hits uh, these guys and his weapon I built in as an underbarrel, a chance to slow. And I'm quite happy that that tr uh, proc because these uh, enemies are melee. Stun both of them. Fabulous. Great use of action economy here. Hit. <laughs> Whoa, Lucia, what is happening? I started to build monsters. All of the builds are taking off. This game is so Alpha Strike-ish. Defense is nice as well, but boy, are you better off Alpha Striking the living hell out of uh, the enemies. If you can hit for 1600, it's very hard to argue why you should invest in armor because listen, that's like two times our hit points. Um, can't tame, but I want to tame this guy. So Hogbite moves up, tames because that gives us plenty of options and then it's barely not close enough to do something but you know how it is uh, we can still use our middle finger there you go middle finger in the air and demoralize these guys <laughs> Ninety five percent missed. The damage is unreal. One charges up. Yeah, and although the weapon isn't as great as uh, the armor penetrating uh, one that he ha had before, it's still good. Murphy moves up and kills this guy. What a nice fight that we had. Got a security pass, okay, cool. I love our team. It's so good. And oh, we're getting power armor even more. Wouldn't have even needed to buy it, but the more the merrier, uh, because power armor is great if you do have the strings, and in the end game, everybody does have the strings to do it.
Nice little EMP grenades. Good. Well, we can now open and close the door officially. Good job, guys. And more ammunition. Cool. Okay, given that this area is still very good and large, I think this is a perfect time for another cliffhanger. I know, I know. Um, cliffhangers at the wrong time but i promise you tomorrow in the next episode you will see uh, the next and hopefully last part of this thanks a lot for watching guys if you enjoyed uh, the game uh, leave a comment and a like down below and uh, make sure to treat the wounds uh, that the like button has received from the scar collectors we don't want it to be a scarred like button thank you and have a good one bye bye